During the peak of the GPU shortage, I paid way too much money for three of these MSI Armor GTX 1060s. Like I seriously paid way too much. So I got to use these in these build guides and this is now my second build with them. Let's have a look. Today's video is sponsored by ICMMO.com, which is kindly hooking you guys up with not just an activated version of Windows 10 and removing that nasty watermark, but they're also giving you guys an exclusive AF 35% discount code if you use ZAH35. Buying keys are super simple. Just head on down to the links in the description. Once you add that Windows 10 key to your cart, make sure you use the discount code ZAH35 and that'll drop the price down to less than 10 bucks. There's a ton of different ways to pay, including PayPal. And after buying, you'll be able to extract your key. From there, Simply press the start button on your desktop, type in activation, paste in your key, and boom, Windows 10 is now activated and you're good to go. Head on down to the links in the description and big thanks again to icmmo.com for sponsoring today's video. So this build may look a little familiar to you. A couple of months ago, I used my first MSI GTX 1060 armor card inside the white Corsair 275R build. I vertically mounted it as well. And this one looks very similar to that one, but that's definitely a good thing. Most people do not like how these armor graphics cards look, but we found out in that last video that if you vertically mount it and make everything else in the build black and white, it actually looks pretty fire, especially for being such a cheap build. As always, links to everything that I talk about today are down in the description. And just as a heads up, on Friday of this week, I'm actually gonna be uploading my first ever video in a brand new series called Flippin' Friday. That series is gonna be all about PC flipping, profit margins, and it's just gonna be 100% tailored to you specific PC flippers. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss that. All right, so for this build though, let's jump into the parts list before we get yet another Sam sniping montage in the benchmarking section. And starting with the CPU here, we have the Intel i3-10100F. These things are obviously some serious value with four cores and eight threads, and they're honestly much faster than what most people think. Don't let the i3 name fool you. This CPU cranks up those FPS numbers, even on the CPU demanding games. And when you can snipe this at less than $100, I've seen it go down to $90 recently. It's a no brainer for price to performance gaming PCs. The motherboard it's plugged into is another value play that I found. This is the ASRock B560M HD and although this definitely isn't a great motherboard for overclocking, future-proofing, or honestly anything other than keeping the price of your build down, I actually picked this one up for $75 brand new on Amazon. That kind of price is definitely a steal and a half for a B560 motherboard, but keep in mind if you are copying this build guide and you want a longer term solution, I would recommend spending the money now on a better motherboard. For RAM, this is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 2x8GB kit that's only clocked at 2400 megahertz, but that's fine for Intel CPUs, and I actually sniped this one on Mercari for just $30. You can often find these RAM deals like this on slower speed ones because I guess people are just upgrading them. I wouldn't buy something like this for a Ryzen based system, but for a budget i3 or i5 system, it's a perfect candidate. Next up, we have the SSD, and this is one more value play. This is just a 2.5 inch SATA NeTech 500 gigabyte SSD, and this was on a monster ZTT deals from our ZTT Discord server down to just $37. The power supply that's keeping everything juiced up is the EVGA 450BR. You guys know the deal on this one. This is only a tier CPSU. It's not modular at all and certainly not the best, but for $25, it's hard to go with anything else for budget builds right now. Now, next up is the case, which I have used before. This is the white Musitex mesh and it does cost $75, but I love using this for PC flips because although it does cost $75, you get five pre-installed RGB fans, which not only saves money in the aesthetic department, but more importantly, it saves time when building the PC. This is one of the best micro ATX case options on the market right now in terms of flips, in my opinion. I also really like the Montec Air 100 and the PVA Protege, by the way, and I definitely appreciate not just the clean AF aesthetic, but also how there's a power supply cutout so we can do some vinyl wrapping. Shout out to Vivid once again for hooking us up with that. But here you can see that simply installing some black carbon fiber vinyl, as opposed to leaving those nasty black and orange sticker in there really makes such a big difference. Also in the aesthetic department, we have some white Asia Horse cable extensions. These do add $26 to the final parts total, and you certainly don't need them if you wanna keep this build under $500, but you guys know how I roll at this point, I gotta include them. Something else you have to include is the CPU cooler, obviously. You probably don't wanna go with the Intel stock cooler. And if you were watching the Twitch live stream when I was building this PC, you'll already know that I originally tried to get a big beefy Vitro V5 cooler in there, but that definitely wasn't happening. Yeah, I don't know about this. It looks like it'll fit. 
I just don't know. During the live stream, I discovered that the V5 cooler wasn't going to fit in there with the vertically mounted graphics card. It's honestly just a few millimeters too tall. So in order to keep that live stream going, I had to use whatever I could find in my inventory room. And this here is the Noctua NHL9i. And please don't copy this if you're building at home. Don't get me wrong. This is a very sexy, clean and minimal CPU cooler. And it's great for ITX builds and whatnot, but the cooler itself costs $55. And that would be obnoxious for a $500 gaming PC. I was actually sitting on the CPU cooler for like two years now. So I'm personally just glad that I finally got it into a build guide, but I would highly recommend finding a different all white budget CPU cooler instead of using this one. And finally, the last part we have here is of course the graphics card. Like I said, I'm struggling out here just like you guys are and I'm overpaying for GPUs left and right. I paid $700 for three of these MSI GTX 1060 armor cards. And that is just honestly way too much money. In my defense, however, I did buy these three graphics cards during the absolute peak of the GPU shortage, or at least hopefully what was the peak. That was when there were zero straight GPU deals out there. And I was simply trying to increase my GPU inventory so I could continue building a PC on Twitch every week. $233 for one of these cards is over double what they're worth. But if anything, this build still proves that if you massively overpay for a graphics card, you can still get a decent gaming PC out of it and dare I say make some profit if you're flipping it as well. Also that riser cable that's underneath it is simply just the Asia Horse PCIe 3.0 200mm model and that only costs $20, haven't seen any issues with it. With that being said, here's what the final parts list is looking like and as you can see, I personally paid $576 for it, but the reason why I'm calling this a $500 build is because I don't think any of you are going to go watch this video and then go out and spend $233 on a GTX 1063 gigabyte. Realistically, you can snipe this card on eBay or especially Mercari for around $150 or so, and that would drop this build down to a nice $500 price range. But now it's time to jump into the benchmarks and see how this i3 10100F and GTX 1060 can perform. As always, I'm going to show you how it performed with 10 of the most popular titles. But before we get into those, let's see Sam, aka ZTT employee numero 4, land some headshots in this road company montage. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that one. Let us know down in the comment section if you wanna continue seeing those montages. But yeah, Rogue Company in 1080p low settings, as you were just seeing, scored 146 FPS. Next up, we tested Apex Legends, and in 1080p pro settings, this $500 budget gaming PC scored a pretty impressive 122 average FPS. Also, just as a heads up, if you're looking to see even more benchmarks than what we feature in this video, head on over to the ZTT Extras channel for the extended benchmarking run on most of my gaming PC build guides. Valorant was up next, and in 1080p high settings, not only only did Sam land some nice kills here, but we also got 162 FPS, which is perfect in my opinion. Valheim followed up after that. Really wish I had more time to play in our exclusive ZTT server for Twitch subs, but in 1080p medium settings, we got just under the target 60 FPS mark with 59. After that was Rainbow Six Siege, and when using the built-in benchmarking tool in 1080p high settings, we got 172 FPS. CSGO was up next. Remember, this one is going to push that i3 10100F and not really the GTX 1060, and here the budget CPU did what it does best and actually cranked out 243 FPS in 1080p with pro settings. Same deal with Grand Theft Auto 5. This one is a real CPU dependent title. And since I know it's still super popular, we decided to throw it back into the mix of benchmarks and in 1080p with high settings, they got 109 FPS. And for the last gaming title, we say Fortnite for last and in 1080p with pro settings, we got another impressive score of 197. Just like always, we'll round everything out with a 3D Mark Time Spy score and this $500 budget gaming PC scored 4,016. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section your worst GPU that you've bought so far during this shortage. Maybe it'll help me feel better about myself. Also, feel free to click the video that's on the screen now if you're looking for another build guide around the similar price range. But just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video.